Good afternoon, fifth graders and fifth grade families. Thank you so much for joining us for our trimester two award celebration. This is one of the most favorite times of the school year when we can highlight all the great things your kiddos are doing here at school or at home. And we're just so glad that you're here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to get started today with Mrs. McHugh. Take it away, Mrs. McHugh, and I will advance your slides. Hi, guys. Um, for our awards today, it is with great honor that I get to reflect on who my students are and the different types of awards that we give out and um, give some thought as to who I would choose. And so for the first one, drum rolls, please. My happy helper goes to Milan Duda. You have been helpful since you've been back in, um, on campus. You've helped to look up information and define things and help students that needed help with technology, navigating information on their iPads. So I wanna thank you for your efforts and your ability and your willingness to be helpful in the classroom. Thank you, Milan. And my growth mindset goes to, another drum roll please. Her name is Alana Garcia. Alana, you have shown so much improvement in your work. You've been participating in class. You've been participating when you've been in Zoom. Um, you have shown improvement in your work and your participation. You come to small group. And I just really appreciate your positive attitude that you bring to the room. Thank you so much. Yay. And our writing wonder goes to um, a beautiful young lady, Cashlyn Cronk. You are earning great scores in your writing. I see your personality in your stories, um, in the way you narrate things in your writing. And I really appreciate your, your growth and your effort in your writing. Thank you, Cashlyn. My kindness queen, oh my goodness, um, now that she's on campus. Miss Kaylin, you have been so kind, so sweet, and just genuine in your interactions with, um, with me, with other teachers on campus, and with your classmates. I just love seeing you on campus and your smiling face in the classroom and outside of it. Thank you for your kindness, Kaylin. For my kindness king. Mr. Noah Shoup, um, Noah, you have been genuinely kind and I've appreciated your little notes to me um, on our Wednesday check-in just to say, how are you, Mrs. McHugh? Um, I really appreciate that. And just the smile also that you bring to the room, whether you're on camera or you're in the classroom. Thank you, Noah, for your mm -hmm. kindness. My tech guru, um, I could not give this award. I, I had to give this award a second time, I apologize. Um, Mr. Chase Wright is my go-to guy in my homeroom group, no matter what technology questions we have, issues, concerns, whether it's things that I'm having difficulty with um, or other students, Chase is always willing to help and answer questions. So thank you again for that, Chase, I appreciate it. Yay. I think he's going to rule the world someday with his tech knowledge. Um, and I also want to give a Tech Guru Award to Shane Lee Laurel. Shane, you stayed on after class one day because you really wanted to help another student with a tech issue. And so for that, I really wanted to give you this, all, this Tech Guru um, Award as well. Um, I also see Shane as being the kind of person who would maybe be a radio broadcaster one day. She just has that radio type voice. Um, so that also to me ties into tech and an ability to understand um, how to project because she's only in Zoom um, and how to use inflection in her voice. So thank you for that, Shane. <laughs> My productivity award goes to Miss Gloria Shu. Gloria is a very hardworking, conscientious student. She takes her time with her work and she does a stellar job. So thank you for that, Gloria. And my Noble Knight award goes to um, a young man who is always kind and polite and courteous and patient 
and just he's gentle spoken, soft spoken, um, but waits his turn, raises hands when he has questions. Um, is it just an overall well-rounded night? Thank you so much, Keegan Fair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. McHugh and your students for an amazing job. Ms. Moody, take it away. All right. All right, so for our Growth Mindset Award, um, this award's going to Sophia Carlos Serrano. Um, Sophia was a little quiet when she first came in and a little unsure of herself, but I've noticed so much over the last few months that uh, Sophia is gaining so much more confidence in math she does so well. She she now raises her hands with all these right answers. I'm I'm just so taken aback at how she's done such a turnaround this year, and I love seeing her enjoying math. Yay! Good job, Sophia. <laughs> okay, our writing wonder is Ariana Schumann. So uh, Ariana, um, according to uh, Mrs. McHugh has a great sense of word choice uh, in her writing. And her writing, uh, she just brings everything to life in a way that's uh, enjoyable for the reader. Uh, Ariana probably has a future with words. So great job, Ariana. Mm -hmm. All right, our kindness queen is Adila Hamza. Uh, I just don't know any other student who uh, is as gentle and um, and speak so kindly to other students at all times. I've never seen her lose her patience or uh, get upset. And when she talks to me, she's always so polite and so kind. And she tends to recognize that um, that she's not the only student in the classroom. And I love having her back in person. So thank you for your kindness, Addie. <laughs> All right, so Dominic Abandano hasn't yet come into my classroom, but uh, I feel like I've really gotten to know him pretty well this year, um, just via Zoom. Uh, he's always polite, uh, he's always kind. Um, I notice that uh, when other students uh, maybe get a question wrong or don't feel so good about themselves, Dominic always seems to have something nice to say. And I notice maybe not everybody hears it, but I hear it and I appreciate that. So. Dominic, thank you so much for being so kind to everyone. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so our tech guru. Sebastian Ramirez is a student who will let me know there's a problem before even I realize it because he recognizes it right away. And so if something happens and we were not sure what to do about it, he usually has a bunch of suggestions even before I get on the phone with IT. So Sebastian, thank you and uh, keep being the great tech guru that you are. Yes. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, productivity. So this was a tough one this time around because I had quite a few students who, uh, who seemed to be um, vying for this award. So I chose Madison Warner. Uh, Madison is uh, in class and I noticed that she does her work with such um, such consideration and she takes her time and while she's working she uses a pencil she doesn't eyeball anything and that's the one thing I've asked my math students to do um, I notice that when I'm walking around and she's showing me her work she's usually doing the techniques that I've taught even though I know she probably knows a million other ways to solve it so great job Madison <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Moody. Thank you, Ms. Moody Ooh. students. Great job, great job. All right, Mr. Russo, take it away. Thank you so much, parents and students, for coming. Uh, these awards are designed to celebrate the students and their hard work. So we are very glad you're all here to evidence this and to, to see what's going on. And our happy helper, Happy Helper Award goes to a young lady that is always willing and able to assist other students when they're in need and frequently does so and helps me when I have a need. So our Happy Helper Award goes to Victoria McGowan. Thank you, Victoria. <clears throat> our Growth Mindset Award goes to a young man, and I still have not seen him at school, but um, 
he in the zoom gets stuff done now he's not real loud he doesn't make a big splash about it but he is always looking forward and always looking to do his best on what's coming up looking forward to the test looking forward to the assessment our growth mindset award goes to alessandro sanchez marufo thank you our fitness fanatic this is a young man who uh, takes pride in what uh, what he looks like and what he can do and always takes care of himself. And for those reasons, uh, I think he will go far, probably in some sort of sporting event later in our school and as a senior or a junior. So our fitness fanatic award goes to Caleb Tejeda. Amazing artist. This is a young man that would probably rather draw than be in my math class and does some amazing work uh, uses different kind of medium always wants to show something and our amazing artist award goes to emmett Lotskybar. thank you emmett writing wonder this award goes to somebody who has an ability to craft words into meaning and make sentences that people will read and enjoy and i think i see a future in some sort of journalism or writing for this young lady. Start out with graphic novels and then move on to bigger stories. Our Writing Wonder Award goes to Elizabeth Alva. Kindness Queen. This young lady is very soft-spoken, very quiet, doesn't ever try to make a splash, or I, I don't think she would ever think about saying something mean about somebody else. She's always got a nice smile, always willing to help out her classmates and myself, and I think she's just one of the sweetest young ladies in the class. Her name is Samantha Banuelos. Kindness King. This is the young man that came into our school after school began in the fall and had a little trouble getting started, but has since proved himself to be a very willing helper for other people, showing people how to do things, showing me things that I need to know. And our Kindness King Award goes to Robert Ricardo. Tech Guru. This young lady has answered questions that stumped me at times and been a helper for me and others in the classroom. And it's so great to see all these kids come back in the classroom where they can interact rather than just, you know, being another square in the Zoom. And I appreciate all the help that I've been given by our Tech Guru, Berkeley Bean. Noble Knight. This is this young man has proven himself to have good character and other qualities that we look for in our knights. And um, I think he is a, a very kind young man, is thinking about other people and would not hurt a fly. But our noble knight goes to Vincent Jansen. Productivity. This young lady does everything he has asked of her and more she is always interested in getting it done. If I have something that needs to, to, to be finished, I know that I can count on this young lady to do this. She is just churning out homework. I don't think she's missed an assignment since the beginning of the year. She does all the tests, everything that is asked, and keeps on top of it. As far as productivity, our queen at productivity is Megan Barakat. Thank you, Mr. Russo and Mr. Russo's class. Great job. You're amazing. All right, Ms. Staten, take it away. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone for being here and being a part of this today. Um, I know this year was um, a tough year, but I'm just so amazed and so grateful to have met some of these kiddos and gotten some personal time with some of them. And then um, with the ones I haven't met, I'm glad that we got the opportunity in the Zoom. Um, I think we have some great experiences and things that I'm happy to share with you today through today's awards. The first award that I have uh, today, I'd like to uh, give to Landon Turner. Um, Landon has always been um, a hard worker and so sweet. And I just appreciate always having um, him reach out if he has questions that he needs answered. Um, he's always willing and always has the biggest smile on his face. So I just wanted to give this award to Landon Turner for being Happy Helper. Thank you, Landon. My 
my second award is going to go to Radley Rose. Uh, Radley, I believe, has um, a growth mindset. He always has um, the willingness and a great positive attitude. He just really puts his best foot forward every time he steps into my class. And I'm just so glad we're back on campus so that I could get the opportunity to witness that even more so um, than in the Zoom. So I am so glad um, to give this award today to Radley Rose for Growth Mindset. Thank you, Radley. The next award I'd like to give is for Chase Holmes. Um, Chase is a very active young man, but not only is he so active, he's also very willing to help. And I just think the, the compassionate efforts that he puts forward on a day-to-day -day basis um, just shows that he's, he's just willing to um, give his best effort. And, and he also has a passion for you know, his gaming and other activities. So I'm just so thankful that being back in the classroom, he's putting his efforts to show what he can do in the classroom. And I'm so excited to see that. So my Fitness Fanatic Award goes to Chase. Thank you, Chase. Amazing artist, um, Carly Sandal Shimp. I'm going to give her my uh, Amazing Artist Award. She is not only a hard worker, but she has the most creative personality. She's funny. She's very fun to have in the class. And um, I'm just so excited to be a part of that this year. Thank you so much, Carly for all your laughter and, and fun time this year. Thank you. My next award goes to Haley Watson for Writing Wonder. Uh, Haley, I wanted to give this award to you um, because you're always putting your best foot forward. It seems like you're really wanting to try to always see how you can complete an assignment and then work on that assignment even better in the next time, the next opportunity that you get. So I just really appreciate your hard work. So uh, for this trimester, I'd like to give you the Writing Wonder Award. Thank you so much, Haley. Hi, Miss Queen. Uh, Miss Sophia Solano, um, this award was not difficult to give uh, to you as you are always passionate about doing your best and you're always a helpful AAE um, night. I just appreciate the smile that you always put on and the willingness to all your assignments. Thank you so much for being a kindness queen um, for this year and especially this trimester. Thank you, Ms. Sophia. Kindness King. I do have uh, Chris Agard uh, for this award. Chris, I give the Kindness King Award too because not only is he intelligent in the questions that he's asking in class, but he's also intelligent about other pieces that make him unique and so smart. I love how passionate he is about learning and I'm just so thankful to have him and get to meet him in my class this year. Thank you so much, Chris, for all your hard work. <clears throat> Productivity, I give my award uh, this semester for, or trimester for uh, AJ. AJ is so sweet and so helpful. Um, he's also passionate about what he does to be a good student on a daily basis. He will always advocate for himself and he's really, he's really caring to himself and to the other classmates. I'm so appreciative of how much he is willing to work and how kindness he is to everyone or how kind he is to everyone. Thank you so much, AJ. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, Tech Guru. So Tech Guru, I chose to give, give the award to Aiden Fowkes. Um, Aiden, this trimester coming back to the classroom has done phenomenal. He's probably somebody that always has his hand up when it comes to asking a question in class, um, especially returning back to the classroom. He knows so much about technology and he always has the best conversations with his peers about um, the different technology that he's participating in. Um, at home, and I just love to hear all his, his passionate conversations around tech. So Aiden, I just wanted to give this award to you. Thank you for your help in the classroom um, with technology and uh, with your peers. Noble Knight. So this is a big award because I do think um, 
the person that deserves this award is somebody that really works hard to not only have a funny personality and have fun in the classroom, but he is, um, I think, a perfect candidate to be um, a, a perfect knight. He's helpful and he's passionate about learning and has a funny personality. So I just wanted to give this award to Tyler for always working hard, but also showing his funny side. I appreciate him in all aspects that he does to prove that he is somebody that is noble for AAE. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Staten and Ms. Staten's class for all your work. We love, he I love hearing all those snippets from everyone to hear just a, a little bit extra that we know about our kiddos. And I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us today for our awards celebration. Looking forward to a great rest of our school year. Thank you all so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.